muy chiqui. Clase. Hello everybody. The sound is okay? Yes. Perfect. Um, let me start um, what I thought three years ago. Um, three years ago, I was about to quit my job, and I thought, okay, now I'm 28 years old. Um, I live in Salzburg. Which resources do I have in my life? And I came up with those four elements. So I have my brain. I'm quite educated. I, d I studied and yes, all that. So I have my brain. Um, we all have those great resources called internet, access to the whole world. So that's the second element. I thought, okay, we could use that. I could use my brain. I could use the internet. Um, I have a lot of talented people around me. I worked at a great agency and I met so many inspiring people and everybody did great stuff besides his job and I thought, okay, we have a world with great people. So this is ingredient number three. And ingredient number four is my passion. So everything I do, I really want, I just do things that I'm really into. So no half things, if I do something, I want to do it completely. So it's really, we have passion, we have people, the planet, the access to the planet, and my brain. Okay, and so I thought, let, what, what, what should I do in my life? And I was really, yes. I thought, okay, these times are good for doing stuff. So let's do it. And I had the idea of doing the first co-working space because I love entrepreneurial people. Um, I think it's the best lifestyle you can imagine, having all those people around you. Everybody is doing his own stuff and projects. Nobody is moaning that the weather or that the client is, is um, um, yes, that I, don't, I even don't know the word in English, so. <laughs> and yes, this is what I did so far. So it's the first co-working space in Salzburg. So now you can say, okay, check, finished. So. It's, it's, it's open and it's, it runs. And for those who don't know what a co-working space is about, it's the combination, of course, of an office space where people who want to start up a company or who already have a company, but a very small company, they go there and start working. So we have Wi-Fi, we have the printer, we have this office space with meeting rooms. Um, but we also provide a lot of events, so networking events, people uh, where you can meet people who who are potentially your clients, you meet new partners and stuff. Then we have all those talents. Everybody is doing something else, uh, starting from web development, um, architecture, journalists, designers, all that. And then we have PR and communication. I mean, that's where I come from. I'm a designer and marketing specialist, and I try to push those people who are at the co-working space. So fine. Um, in this uh, co-working spaces, where there are so many talented people, sometimes it happens that somebody has an idea, and we all say, oh yes, it's a funny idea. So we had this idea, why not moving all together to the beach? So a co-working camp. Not forever, but just for a few weeks. And since it's very rainy in Salzburg on, in November, December, we thought, okay, let's try it in November and December, let's go there. So the idea of co-working camps was born. And since we have all those people who set up the website to do the design, um, we, can, we are able to do this quite fast. So we did the website and the naming and the branding in approximately two weeks. We, did a, we had an Ausflug to the to a, Yes, doesn't matter. So we want to combine work and fun because we think that doing sports, doing leisure activities like climbing or, or snowboarding or, or snorkeling, it's, it's a kind of creativity techniques where you can um, have different perspectives to your problems. If you always sit in front of your computer in your office, um, yes, it's a way of working, but maybe you have new ideas or new perspectives if you go somewhere else. So let's go from rainy Salzburg to the beach, or even later, let's go to, to the mountains. Maybe we have co-working camps in the mountains next year. So we are setting up a package, including the flight, the accommodation, um, the co-working space there. 
a um, lot of events, great people, of course, um, perfect internet um, access, and we are setting up this networking program. So people who join the camp, they work on the projects, very concentrated, but from time to time they can um, join these networking events. And we try or we will bring together startups with um, people who want to invest money in new ideas. So we bring um, business angels and venture capitalists to this camp and we really want to make a benefit out of this camp. It's not just for fun, it's not just for work, it should be a perfect match of both. So co-working camp number one will take place in Egypt from the 18th of November to the 15th of December. Four weeks. First of all, we thought about doing it for six weeks, but then we got the feedback that six weeks is too long. And now we decided to do it maximum for four weeks. You can join either one, two, three, or four weeks. Yes, and why Egypt? I mean, I, I had to go... Um, I had to think really very deeply about it. Uh, is it a good decision to go to Egypt these days? Um, and I went there for myself. So I went to Cairo and met really incredible people. I mean, they have this political issue at the moment, but you have to think, why do they have this problem? Because they are very well educated and they want to have a new system. And we could have uh, decided not to go there because it's too much risk. Um, but we decided um, to still go to Egypt. The idea of, of Egypt was before all those um, troubles happened. But we decided to stick to Egypt because we think people there, they need this chance. They are very hungry of development. Um, they really, there are amazing startups there. And we think this is really a positive potential to go there and meet those people, connect them to people from all over the world. So it's on the one hand that you have international contacts, people from, yes, I mean, we had um, appliances from 140 people who wanted to join. Uh, as we had the first press le release, we got covered by VentureBeat, which is a big online magazine. And so a lot of interesting people on the one side and a good inspiring place where you can do kitesurfing or scuba diving. Um, for boosting your creativity on the other side. Yes, and the mission, I mean, imagine if you, sp if you spent four amazing weeks with uh, amazing, inspiring startups from all over the world. These are really great um, business contacts and maybe friendships and relationships that last forever. And finally, my vision. So I'm Romy and I think I'm on this planet to um, bring great startups together and making the world even a smaller or a better place. Yes. <laughs>